Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again and also good morning to everybody. Today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys my first impressions of Black Desert Online. Um, now this game isn't brand new or anything, it just had a remastered update like a few months ago, but more importantly I just came back from TwitchCon. Uh, there was a lot of hype about this game. Uh, I have checked it out previously like in Korea three or four years ago, but I didn't really give it a fair chance. So today I want to give you my first impressions after playing about 15, 20 hours or so, you know, just as a, a normal casual. So, I did put out a previous video on Black Desert, like yesterday, but that was just letting you guys know that I'm going to be playing. Um, so yeah, here we go. Just going to jump in with my level 41 character. This is a Dark Knight that I'm playing. So first off, to just explain a little bit about what Black Desert is, it is your typical uh, Korean grind MMO. If you don't know what that means, it means that the end game portion of the game is pretty much all centered around grinding. If you don't like grinding, this is not going to be the game for you. Uh, there also is one other thing to note that this game does have a pretty big emphasis on open world PvP, meaning like if you are in you know a good grinding spot, for example, it's very easy for someone to just come over, gank you, and then you know move on. Kind of like Arcage if you're familiar to the Arcage style. Now this video is not going to talk about anything Endgame as I'm only 41, so I can't really talk too much about Endgame. I'm also not really going to be talking about the cash shop because, in my opinion, you should not really try to give an accurate understanding of the cash shop until you, like, actually know what it does. So that'll be for a future video. Okay, Mr. Memory Fragment, could you please go away? Okay, cool. So, uh, let's go ahead and just jump right into the combat just to show you guys how it works. So, like I said, I'm playing a Dark Knight. So, just to cover the skill tree really fast, um, this is going to be your main skill tree. Every class is going to have a main tree and an awakening tree. So the two things to note simply, I believe your default auto attack will always be leveled up. All of these other skills are free to respec before I think level 55. All you have to do is literally just like right click it and you just respec and get the points back. Um, on the right hand side, you can see here another skill list. This is the exact same as the skill list on the left. It's just organized in a different way. That's all. So uh, you have your main skill set and you have an awakening skill set. Awakening is kind of like a, like a job class up, I guess you could say. I think it happens around like mid 50s or so. Um, and some classes are completely different based off their awakening. So say for example, like say your awakening makes you more of like a ranged caster and you want to play that style. Um, it really kind of mixes up your element of play, which is cool because a lot of the times in these games, you just press the same buttons over and over again. This gives you a nice little selection of skills you can use from. And there's also passives and there's actives in here. Your skills will level up. So for example, if you look, it's a hit damage 365 times three, it would go to 552 times three. There's also combos in the game. I can't speak too much on that yet because I don't know 100%. You do have like an ultimate as well. It consumes this red gauge here. Um, and then furthermore, you also have things like this, which are called flow. Um, so here you would have the standard skill that levels up and then you would have a flow which basically is like a, I don't know if it's considered a combo or if it's just like an extra effect. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into some of the combat. Now, one thing I do want to state right away that may be a big turnoff to a lot of players, it kind of is to me, but I'm just kind of ignoring it. Uh, with this new remastered update, and especially with like the event that's currently going on, if you're playing, you can get free plus 15 weapons. Leveling from what people have told me, up until 50 is pretty much trivial. Like you could just close your eyes and left click and kill everything. And I think the purpose of that is when you have expansions and stuff like this, they just want people to catch up to their friends. Uh, like I said, I don't really like that because I like to kind of learn my class and you can't really learn anything if you just one shot everything. Um, but that's just something to take into account. I know some people like that. So don't expect any sort of challenge until your, I would say 50s, maybe mid 50s from what people have told me. Okay, let's go fight some mobs really fast. These guys are probably all gonna die in one hit, so... There will be a lot more like AOE pulling later on, it's just, you know, these are kind of just like 
little baby shit turd mob, so it doesn't really matter too much. The movement is extremely fluid, uh, which is really part of the reason why I'm even playing this game in the first place is because if I was playing an MMO in 2018 and it had dated combat, it'd be very difficult for me to, <laughs> to like, have it, I guess, like, keep my attention for a long time. So, one of the other cool things about Black Desert um, is something that may be negligible to some people, but it's a little quality of life things that make me really enjoy it, is if you look at a target, when I hit the target, you don't see an HP, like there's no percentage or there's no number associated with the target's health. So the way that kind of works is when you first hit a target, you can't even see its HP bar. Like you can't see yourself going down. You see how it says there, contaminated butcher A? As you kill the target more and more, you learn more about that monster. Which is just something that's kind of, it's kind of interesting, you know, it's new to me. Compared to just the standard, like, oh, well, there's no reason to kill this guy. So I guess that's like a completionist goal. That's kind of a cool thing. Mini-K kind of agrees, too. Do you agree, Mini-K? You like it? Mini-K? He, he agrees. He thinks it's a cool system. So, uh, I want to go into kind of some of the more, like, open-world aspects of Black Desert. And, uh, again, another interesting topic that I know some people like and dislike. So, one of the things is, when you play a Korean MMO, um, there are two, two things that kind of smack me in the face and really turn me off with them. So, step one, or first thing, would be the inventory system, because most Korean games have a really shit inventory management system that requires you to spend maybe 20 to 40 dollars to unlock max bag space to just become even playable the other thing would be you have no fucking clue where you're going because there's just you know it's just a lot of stuff everywhere and it's just very overwhelming you agree mini k2 okay so let's try to let's try to clear some of that up so the first thing uh that i can tell you about for inventory space is when you're playing Black Desert, if you were to press O and go to Suggested and Inventory Expansion, there's like seven to nine quests in here. All you have to do is click it and look. This is an invent a permanent inventory expansion. It's not a lot, but they add up. As you also do the main storyline, you will get these inventory expansions. The storyline is this little dude that you'll see if you ever play through the game. Make sure you do his storyline quest because that's really, really, really important. Now, one of the other things I noticed that was like the biggest difference for me you need to find Heidel. Here we go So if I click on this you can see there's like a bunch of little houses This kind of reminds me of Monopoly for some reason So if you look at my storage, I believe I have 32 spaces out of 127 now, this is such an interesting system um, Because the way it works is basically like this you click a house you look at the house It says required contribution points contribution points are acquired I think just through playing the game mainly questing could be a little bit incorrect on that, but TLDR, you play the game, you're gonna get contribution points. You can spend your contribution points on storage. So if you've seen here what I did, uh, let's, use, let's use this guy as an example right here. So this requires one contribution point and adds three storage spaces permanently to my warehouse. So the default is like 16 slots. So after playing for like 15 hours, less even, I came over to Heidel and I was like, hmm, let me learn the storage system out. I gained like 120 fucking spots or like 115 spots for little to like no effort required. And if you're scared of min-maxing and stuff, you can always just click this and just like sell it back and gain all of your resources back. Maybe you lose a thousand silver. I have like 20 million silver or something. So like literally it's completely nothing. Um, so definitely make sure you take a look and understand a bit of how this system works. It's really easy. Uh, the simple summary up is like, you want a one for three as your main goal. So like spend, you wanna spend as little contribution points as possible for as much storage as possible. Um, so now to go on to something else that's really nice about the game. So if you were to, for example, I don't know if this one is gonna work. Uh, okay, actually it might work. No, it won't work. If you have like a quest item or an event item in your inventory, you can actually right click it and you can hit like find NPC and the game will actually track the NPC that you're supposed to turn the item into. That is so amazing for me. Um, I can't tell you how many times I just have like random shit in my inventory that just, you know, you don't know what to do with it or just event items you don't know where to go. So you alt tab, you go look up this. I haven't really felt the need to do any of that with BDO. I felt the game has honestly explained quite a bit in itself to me. Uh, there's also a really nice auto run system in the game. Um, you can literally just right click somewhere. You have the automatic path set. Uh, if you want to start running, you just press T 
which will take you out of combat mode and your character will start running. If you want to run even faster, you hit shift, your character will start sprinting, you will deplete stamina. During this time, your, your character won't stop running. You'll just go into like walk mode again, you hit shift, you start running again. If you're on a mount, it's going to be like five times faster. I know a lot of people don't like the whole auto run system, but in my opinion, I think games with auto run systems are like really, really good simply because while your character is auto running, you can open up your skills. You can look at your skills. You can look at your awakening skills. You can look at your items. You can check your gear. You know, all of this stuff for a new player, this is still a lot of stuff for us to learn. Having an auto run mechanic like this is not a bad thing. I know a lot of people say it like promotes people being lazy and stuff, but there are really good things out of it too. Also, one quick tip. Anytime you see a little white exclamation mark bubble like this or yellow, make sure you just talk to them. You just gotta press R, hit cancel. You'll notice you'll gain knowledge. The knowledge affects your total energy count. What energy does is energy is basically anything and everything to do with, I wanna say crafting and gathering. Uh, if you're familiar with labor and arc age, I do believe it's similar to that, but it's not nearly as AIDS. Uh, it does regenerate, whereas labor is like, fuck you. Um, even Minike doesn't like the labor system. But yeah, anyway, that's pretty much about it for me. I just want to let you guys know I'm going to be playing quite a bit of Black Desert uh, this next week or so, and we're going to see how it goes. I would like to play the game for maybe even a month or two, um, but, you know, we'll see how everything goes at first. I don't want to set up any unreal expectations. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful time. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Oh, this is kind of hard to, to stop the recording. Are you upset, Mini K? What was that? Mini K said, don't hold me like that. <laughs>